Hey y'all, I am here today to share with you some tips for a simple, easy, really beautiful red carpet look. So I'm just gonna jump right in. So the first tip, keep it simple. You don't wanna look overdone or like you're trying too hard. The second is to look polished. You want to make sure your eyebrows are clean, smooth lips, so a sugar scrub or even just a toothbrush to get all the dead skin off so that your lipstick goes on smoothly. And the other thing is photo ready skin. Now I'm naturally at a red carpet event, everybody's going to be taking your picture. So you want to look gorgeous in those pictures and you don't want to look shiny. You want to be flawless, as flawless as possible. So you need a good concealer. Mine is L'Oreal True Match. And the other thing is avoid SPF, because SPF foundations are going to make you look shiny. So just for this one night, any other time you need to use SPF, but just this one night, avoid the SPF. So I suggest a powder foundation, a good coverage powder foundation, like Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. Um, this just has really good coverage. You can just swirl it on and you're good to go. And then you want to figure out what feature you want to accentuate. So for this look, I obviously accentuated my eyes. So you want to make sure that everything else isn't in your face because then you're going to look overdone. So you want a good soft blush. For me, that's Laura Geller Baked Cheek Dreams Highlighter and Blush Neapolitan. It's got all three of these great colors. You just swirl it all together, buff it on, it looks great. Then for the eyes, whatever color your eye is, figure out the opposite on the color spectrum and that's going to be the complementary color and do a smoky eye with that and it's a lot softer than black. Um, so for me I did navy because I've got a brown with an orange tint colored eye and you just want to stick with that one color, lay it down on your lid and feather it up and make it look smoky and brush it under your eyelid. You want to definitely make sure to use some sort of primer so that it'll last through the whole event. Now whatever you've done with your eyes, if you've done a burgundy, a warm color, then go with a cool toned lip. Um, if you've done a cool toned color like a purple or a blue, go with a warm toned lip. Just keep everything simple and you will be ready to go and look beautiful. See y'all in the next video.